Okay, so now I'm going to replace the cotton drawstring with elastic drawstring. I found this over at Joanne Fabrics. It's the perfect length. The only difference is it's not pink, it's white. Um, the uh, circumference is the exact same size as the elastic drawstrings that are in all the block shoes that have elastic drawstrings. Okay, so first thing I do is I make sure that it's not tied at all. Okay, and then I just pick an end and I yank it out. And there's the drawstring. By the way, we're in the car today because my darling daughter has a lot of classes. And this is what I do when I'm just sitting around waiting for her in between classes. All right, so this is a plastic needle. It's very bendy, okay? Wow. It has a large head. It has a blunt, fairly blunt tip. Focus. There we go. And this one's been used a few times, so it's a little, <laughs> it's a little bent up and bruised and so forth. But anyway, you need uh, something that is flexible, something with a blunt tip, and something that has a large head in order to get this this elastic cord through. Okay. Uh, this one is for uh, sewing plastic canvas, and I also found these at Joanne Fabrics. They come two in a pack, I believe. So. I want to go ahead and try to push this through. It might not be eye a little bit. Okay, so we've got it through. You don't want to double it up. You want to leave a good amount of excess. Okay, and then there are two very tiny little holes. Here's one opening. And here's the other opening for the drawstring casing. It doesn't matter which one you start in. It's going to be very difficult, no matter which one you start in, to get it out. So the drawstring casing on these is um, uh, like seam binding. So it's very thin material, very uh, loosely woven. So it's easy to, to poke this plastic needle, even though it has a fairly blunt tip right through. So you just fish it in. The hardest part is getting the eye of the needle in through that hole. Sometimes I need, ow, sometimes I need a pair of needle nose pliers to do it. This one's going to be fairly easy, it looks like. We're just about through. Okay, so then you just want to gather it up a little bit, hold it really tight. I've got a hold of the needle inside the casing here and pull. And that's how we're just going to fish it all the way through. Being sure that before we pull out our gathers that we haven't gone through the casing. And see? And it just continues right on through. Okay, so I don't know if you can see the tiny little blue tip is just starting to come through the other hole. They could if the camera would focus. There we go. All right. Okay, so I'm pushing this out of the way. And now we just have to fish it through. And hopefully, because we have some play here in the satin before the top of the box, we don't pierce the satin now. <laughs> now we get it through. <clears throat> Again, getting the eye of the needle through this little hole can be quite difficult sometimes. <clears throat> All right. Do not, at this point, do not take the elastic out of the needle. Hold on to, hold on to both pieces here. This is your tail end. 
This is the piece that is fished through. Hold on to both of them very tight because you see how this is all gathered up. I cannot sew the, the elastic and ribbons neatly with this all gathered up. So we need to pull and make sure there's a good length hanging out on both sides. I'm still not going to take this out, but I'm going to do my best to flatten all of this out as best I can before I take that needle out. If you take the needle out too soon, sometimes the elastic can all of a sudden snap back in there, and then you got to start all over. <laughs> okay? All right, so as you can see, so my needle got pretty bent, especially going around the heel. All right, so that's that. Now we take the needle out and we measure a length and then we snip it off right there because she's going to pull this even tighter. So there will be about this much excess by the time she pulls it tight and ties it. So we're going to cut it right about there.